Hey everybody, Little Jay here for Marshall May Collectibles, and I'm here to remind you that this channel is meant for the mature, sometimes immature, adult collector. That means no kids or children should be listening or watching. Besides, when Jay does these reviews, we don't know what the hell he's going to say. Plus, there's a good chance there might be some nudity. You don't know what he's wearing behind that camera. Anyway, let's get on with this review. Hey everybody, it's Jace with Marshall Made Collectibles, and today we have an unboxing and review. First off, before I start, I want to thank Steve Allen and all his staff over at Time Walker Toys that made this possible. If you've never checked out Time Walker, I will have a link in the description below. They are an absolutely fabulous place to get all your collectible statues and 1-6 scale figures. And I will have a link in the description below. Thank you guys over at Time Walker. Really appreciate doing business with you. So let's go ahead and get started. What we have in front of us is Anubis, the Guardian of the Underworld, and this is from TB League. This just came in today, and I wanted to go ahead and get a review. I did a, uh, a teaser review of some of the production photos, and I was really excited with this. And I really hope TB uh, continues on like this Egyptian theme. I would love for them to do like a Horus. Let's go ahead and crack this open so we can take a look at the art box. This box is gorgeous. Um, I really like the way TB League does everything anyway, because their boxes are made out of that heavy chip core. Again, four sharp corners, no dents, no nothing like that. But the way they presented this is nothing short of spectacular. All right, let's go ahead and start the turnaround so we can take a look at all of the artwork. Just, It's just gorgeous. Uh, when you come to the side, it says Anubis, again, Guardian of the Underworld. And then you have his staff, the Egyptian staff. And that is just looks stellar. On the back, you have a picture of Anubis there holding the staff, holding the Ankh. Um, this time, he has the more stoic face on it. You've got your warnings, TV League. Um, of course, down below, it says 2009 Fison Limited. Um, so for those of you that are unfamiliar, TB League is Fison. Fison is TB League. They just changed the name. And then when we come back to the other side, it again has the staff with the Anubis on the tops and bottoms. It is just solid black. So what do you say we crack this guy open and see what we get in this box? Okay, with him off the turntable, this is a magnetic flap. Go ahead remove that there is nothing on the back again with all of their covers like this they will fit in a detoff if you want to use them as a backdrop first thing you come to is the instructions for how to take care of your new uh, one six scale body now this is the uh, silicone over a stainless steel skeleton so there are limitations of what you can do to the joints uh, for the stressing on it on the back, it tells you each joint from shoulders, elbows, wrist, uh, waist, legs, and feet. Um, and it's just basic care uh, on how to care for these. This Anubis figure was, uh, I believe, $150. And it's just insane uh, what you get. Now, I just had a handful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and lay this flat. But since this guy already came out, we'll take a look. And this is... A right hand and you can see the claws beautiful paintwork on those nails and it's a flat black but there is like a wash over it so you get like the veining detail in the hands the opposite you get a left hand in that same kind of pose a uh, left and right grabby hand grabby Uh, they can basically use the same hands and uh, a lot of the same accessories and if they came out with like a Horus. And those unfamiliar Horus was the one that had like the bird head. Let's go ahead and look at his neck piece. Oh my God. That is so well sculpted and so beautifully painted. I mean, look at the detail in the paintwork. No slop, no overspray. 
no sticky paint. Inside is a nice gorgeous blue. I guess that's what it was cast in like that blue vinyl. That is stunning. We've got his arm guards. Got some nice like green gem kind of thing. Again, it's cast in that blue vinyl. It's soft, pliable. Just gorgeous. The paintwork is gorgeous. Sculpt is gorgeous. I mean, look at the intricate details in that sculpt. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and go to the head sculpts. Oh, wow. Jeez. Um, that's the one thing I can say about TB League here. A lot of their production photos, when you see them, they're like, oh, that really looks good. And then you get the piece and it matches the production photo. I mean, this is freaking gorgeous. Look at that sculpt. You got the little cobra on his the top of his head. You got the individual earrings. Those are where those little placards are going to hang down. I don't know if you call them placards, but that's kind of what they are. Look at that sculpt in the headdress itself, the, like the little tiny like feathering detail or whatever that's supposed to be. Those eyes are absolutely stunning. This is nuts. It's got some nice gold dry brushing over it so all that detail pops. And that metallic green just really pops as well. He's, he's beautiful. Um, again, you've got that blue vinylish kind of material. Um, and you don't just get the stoic head, you get an angry head. <laughs> I like that one too. They did a beautiful job sculpting. And you can see as this one's angry, the muzzle, you can actually see like like where the whiskers are poking out or like, you know, like where the, the follicles would be because he's angry. They just nailed this. And those little earrings, all of them are metal hoops. They're not plastic. And again, just gorgeous detail. I am, when I have this on display in uh, my Detoff, I am going to have uh, head stands because these heads are not staying in the box. Even if he's not wearing them, he will be displaying them. He's, he's a beautiful piece. Wow. God, he is heavy. Now uh, you've got the fist hands on him. And it is a black muscle body. It's got wraps around his upper arms. Got a belt again with that motif. Look, you got the Egyptian eye there. Some gold chains draping down off to the sides. Got leg wraps, and then he's got like these sculpted bits that have like the little green gems in them. Going down to his sandal feet, where he's got the claws again, like he does on his hands. Beautifully painted. Soles are ribbed. They, they went all out on like the sculpting details on these little bits. Wow, it just, and he's got a tremendous amount of weight to him. All right, let's see what we got in the second tray. We got some bands. I don't know if they're for the arms. I believe they are. There's 
one. And there's two. Very nicely sculpted, very nicely painted. Got little pins here that are done in that green metallic. I think that's to pin those um, pieces into the ears. I mean, the, the lower, yeah, like these things here. These dangly bits that go on each head sculpt. They're done in that blue vinyl, but they have like that Egyptian kind of motif going on. And those are like little metal rivets that you just will push through to hold those in place. Uh, if you want, I will go ahead and show installing that on one of the heads. But there's four of those, so you don't have to keep taking them off and on. You'll have two per head sculpt. I don't know exactly what you would call that. It's like one of those things where have you ever seen like a statue with his, uh, an Egyptian statue with the arms crossed and they're holding like a, like a small short staff. That's what this is. Got some beautiful sculpting detail on it. Nice paintwork. You've got that gold, some silver motif that's got some dry brushing on it. Not exactly sure what this is called. If you know, go ahead and put that in the comments below. I'm sure people would like to know. The Ankh. It is on a metal chain. Then you have this gorgeous staff. My God, that thing is huge. I'll back it up here. Look, it's there's the body of the figure, and it is it's, it's taller than the body. I'm gonna bring it close to show you the detail. Look at that beautiful paint paintwork with that blue, that green. That is just stunning. Now it's made out of plastic. It does have some weight to it. And again, that just the, the, the sculpting detail is just nuts. Beautiful work. Now with these little bits, uh, these little rivet kind of things that they, they gave us to, to put on these little side pieces on the head, these wisely gave you six uh, and you only need four. And I think they knew that it was a possibility that you might lose some down the road. But you just push push it through like there. Well, what I suggest you do is you take a blow dryer and heat up these lower lobes a little bit uh, before you try to push these through, just because that vinyl is tougher. And then once you get it heated, you can push them through and just pretend that you're working at Claire's at the mall and you just pierced your figure's ears. But that is basically it. I just pushed that through, but it makes it so much easier if you heat up the vinyl prior. Okay, and here is Anubis all set up. I'm gonna go ahead and start the turntable to turn him around. And I gotta tell you, honestly, it's probably my favorite figure in like the last six, seven months. Um, he is stunning. Everything about him screams quality. Everything about him with the detail, the sculpt, is gorgeous. I think TB League just does amazing work and they give you so much bang for your buck. And I would love to see them continue this line. He's freaking stunning. Um, I will have some HD photos here at the end and I'll do close-ups of all the little bits and pieces. You really got to have him in hand to appreciate him. And if you're new to our channel, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. It really means the world to us and it does help our channel out a lot. And if you go ahead and hit that bell icon, you'll go ahead and get notified every time I bring something new to the channel. So if you don't mind, go ahead and hang back. I'll have some HD photos of this beast here at the very end. Thank you for watching. This is Jace for Marshall May Collectibles. Take care.